I really think that the, the production was amazing on the track, Lorenzo. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot. I really, I really do think you guys got a hit on your hands. Yeah, Troy's a great artist. You gotta meet him one day. The one that you be going on dates with? <laughs> nah, that was a business. Hey, Rudy, who the fuck is this nigga? First of all, Billy, you need to calm the fuck down. And how the hell you know where I was at? Don't worry about all that. Why the fuck you not answering your phone? Cause you're riding with this goofy? Hey, bro, you don't want these problems. Oh, trust me, I do. So this who you with? This? I am so sorry. I am so sorry, Lorenzo. So this this goofy ass sex you was telling me the crazy motherfucker, huh? Crazy. <laughs> well, one thing's for certain, two things for sure. Crazy is an understatement. Okay. I can't believe you right now. You broke up with me. And you gave me. Gave you what? <laughs> Listen. You act like I fucking meant to give you a chuffy. I told you it was a fucking mistake. Oh yeah? It's a mistake that cost me my life. And you act like you don't even care. I'm sorry, Lorenzo. I wanted to wait till I was ready to tell you. That's the reason why I didn't want to have sex with you yet. I wanted to wait till I was ready to tell you because I didn't want to make the same mistake again that I made once before. Look, if it's all good, I already know. How? You left your pill bottles at the house. And instead of me saying something, I just snuck it back in your bag. And you don't care? No. All I care about is making you happy. And get into this bag. So you can tell your deranged ass ex, he can get the fuck on. You ain't gotta tell me shit. I'm standing right here, bitch nigga. You fucking tell me. What's good? Well, what's good? Oh. <laughs> you one of those. Yeah, little bitch nigga. Yeah. It's alright, I'ma go. Fuck this shit ain't up. over though. Skinny ass. Far from over. boy. Seen something to rub me the wrong way. Well, come on in. 
I get, look, Troy, if this is moving in with you, I've been thinking about that it. That dude that just I moved just... in down the hall. It's bad news. Bentley? What about him? I just seen him confront Zoe in his little booth thing. Okay, and what does it have to do with the price of rice in China, me or you? It's not a joke, Prince. Dude is off. Something is not right. I witnessed firsthand that he was borderline crazy, so he's not a problem for us anymore. He's cut off completely. Yo, fucking. No. But why are you so inquisitive about my sex life? I got my reasons. What's the reason exactly? You know what? It's irrelevant. I love you. I'm in love with you. More and more. And I just want to protect you. Don't come in here whispering sweet nothings in my ear and then have me out here looking stupid. I'm for real. I want to try again and do things right this time. All right. Okay. I want to make you my husband one day. I might be your husband for a day or two, maybe three. What are you doing? Get up. I know you're not the risk taking type of dude, but I want you to risk it all for me. I'm willing to risk it all for you because I, I love you, the history that we have, but I'm not ready for marriage, baby. Marriage? Who said anything about marriage? Wait, you're not proposing? No. Oh. I'm not ready for marriage at all. This is just to keep to the next step of our lives. I can't believe it. It's really happening. <laughs> got the same earrings <laughs> with my, you know, dangle. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe you think the Falcons, the uh, Atlanta Falcons, got a chance to get another Super Bowl ring, like, <laughs> in our lifetime. Yes, and I stand firm by what I said. They're good. I mean, they would be great. They learn how to close out the game. I'm kind of impressed that you know about football, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Still a man at the end of the day. I mean, you know, with a name like Angel, you oh, never know. <laughs> oh, wow, so we're name shaming now. You know, you're quite the joke. I, I didn't mean anything <laughs> by it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> ha ha ha. I actually think it's a dope name, though. Thank you. I, Corey's a dope name, too. Corey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know, my mom says she got it from the Bible. And she says it means God's peace. And when apparently when I was born, I brought some kind of value to her life. Ooh, something like that. It was dope. But, you know, I can't really believe anything she said. Why not? Because she... Never mind. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> What's crazy? It just seems like a lot of guys here are not in synergy with their mothers. You better love on her while she's here. So, uh, what, what type of guys do you like again? I don't know. <laughs> what you mean you don't know? What, you're a virgin or something? <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing like that. It's, it's a, hold on. Everything okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Yeah. Like, you like cookout? I like cookout, yeah. With the quesadilla? Oh, the side, side of quesadilla. quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. the fried okra? No okra. What about the pork sandwich with the slaw? Oh, you mean a ham? Who the fuck want to know? Uh, not today. What the fuck? 
fuck you think you're going, huh? Mom? Huh? Mom? Huh? Mom! Gavin! Are you crazy? Yes! Put that thing away! Put it away! Oh my bad, Deborah. This you? Yes! This is my son, Gavin! Well shit! Deborah, you didn't tell me your son was a... A what, Gavin? A fucking faggot! I know you lying! You watch your mouth in my goddamn house. Who is this clown? Um, who is he? Nick, Gavin, and I are dating. Exclusively. Huh. How cute. I don't like him. Look at your life, sis. ass in here. Y'all just finished popping that wop. Oh. Do not talk to me like I'm one of your little rainbow amigos. Look, I'm here because you said that you wanted to talk. I did. I do want to talk. <laughs> Look, you two, you go ahead and handle this, all right? Mm. Nice meeting you. What's up, Mom? You sure know how to pick him, don't you, Deborah? What, Gavin isn't that bad. He is aloof and a little rough around the edges, but he does the job and he definitely makes me happy when he's doing it. Okay, look. I really needed to get over your father, Nicholas. I can't stop living my own life just because he decided to go out there and sow his wild oats. I have obligations to my own life journey, just as your father does. And you know, you are right. And I am so happy for you, elated even. Um, it's just that George is such a downgrade. I just figured a woman, you know, as esteemed as yourself, um, would have so much more taste, um, just considering that daddy is who he is. What, a lying, cheating, dirty manipulator? Nicholas, I deserve better than him. I know you don't think Gavin is better for me. I don't. But once you two get to know each other, I promise you'll have a change of heart. Whatever, girl. Is, is that what you called me over here for? So we can talk about your little scallywag? Because I could have met him on FaceTime. No shade. Come sit next to your mother. Come sit. Come sit. You know, I never once had any problems with you being gay. I never have. So, <clears throat> um, how long did you know uh, before Daryl so graciously spilled my tea? Huh? Spilled your tea? Like when- Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I heard the phrase on RuPaul's Drag Race. And it means telling your business, right? Yes! Work the house down boots, sis! <laughs> That's exactly it. Well, I knew you were, you know, from the videos. And my history, the cookies, they were overwhelming. Cookies? Actually, it's kind of embarrassing, but... I was having the computer fixed, and that's when I was made aware of the videos. Oh it was actually kind of traumatizing. Much like this, I suppose. Hmm, I was so sloppy back then. <laughs> you were. And a very lackadaisical young man, as it was. Mm -hmm. And you remember Marcus? Yeah, he was like my best friend in high school. And my first. <clears throat> <laughs> I knew it. See, I knew there was something between you two because every time Marcus spent the night, your room would smell funny. Oh my God. Kind of like how it smells a little funny in here right now. <sighs> that is cringy. Yikes. So, were you two dating or? 
something like that, I guess, maybe, perhaps, kind of, yeah. Well, Nicholas, listen, I never hated you for who you were. I wanted you to come out on your own accord because forcing you to come out of the closet might have made me lose you. But I guess that happened anyway. Look at us now. But you knew after all these years. Well, honestly, I am relieved that you're taking this so lightly. Well, Nicholas, you're, you're my son, my only son at that. And nothing could ever veer me away from loving you. But you know what would really make me happy? A new nigga? No. Huh. An invite to you and Daryl's wedding. Huh. I was never formally invited, let alone made aware of. Yeah. <clears throat> You're having second thoughts? Uh, yeah. I mean, I like Daryl a lot. I really do. But if you're having second thoughts about taking one of the biggest steps in your life, then don't go through with it. You don't want to go into a marriage having regrets. You're either all in or you're all out. You're right. I love you. I love you too. But I gotta go check on Gavin because uh, I don't know who the hell Mo is. Now it's really about to smell like ass up in here. And get out of my damn candy! Damn, Angel, you live here? <laughs> yeah, this is my humble abode. <laughs> Damn, you gotta make hella money to afford this. Yeah, well, I mean, the job that I have, you know, that's just something to keep me busy. But I'm a trust fund baby. So I use most of that money to pay for my, you know, necessities and things of that nature. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm actually about to come into some money myself. Ooh. Yeah, my people passed away, and and they left me and my sister and, and my brother. Hmm. Yeah, they left us set for life. But it's good that you're humble about that. Yeah. Wait, so you have two siblings? Yeah. Yeah. That is dope. You know, I'm, a, I'm an only child myself. You know, I guess it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. You know, actually... We just found out that we had an older brother, so that's what I'm going through right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, that's dope, right? Yeah, I guess the way it happened was weird, but everything happens for a reason, I guess. Yeah. I guess I'm going to take this time to focus on being a great big brother to Monica and getting to know Lorenzo as an actual human being. <laughs> hmm. Now, that's funny. What? What's funny? <laughs> that name. Look, Corey, I, I have to be honest with you. What? I don't think we should keep this going. What you mean? It is a lot more complicated than I can ever explain. But I think I'll be doing you a favor if I end this right now. I'm so, I'm so confused, Angel. Um, is it something that, that I said? No. Something I did? No. What? It's not you. It's, it's definitely me. Oh. Uh, how cliche is that? Look, Corey, you, you're a great guy. Listen, no need to soften the blow. This is not my first time at the rodeo. I actually just went through this. You know, maybe dating's not for me. I'm okay with that. At least I try. I'm 
Take care of yourself, boy. I'm sorry for the way that I've treated you lately. I've been so angry and I just took it out on you. I'm sorry too. For what? I mean, you didn't do anything except deal with my shit. I, I could have fought harder. And I wish I would have had more of a bad balance in this situation. Well, yeah, I can, I can agree that you definitely could have fought harder, but honestly, Daryl, it wouldn't have made a difference. I had, and I still have some things that I'm working on, but I say all I've to say that I'm not going anywhere. I'm a man, and I can't wait until the day that we're husbands. Wait, so... You still want to do this? Absolutely. I mean, I'm like more down than ever. I just really don't want to lose you. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> what are you doing? Okay, so I don't have a ring, but I have love. Um, I just want you to know how much I am truly invested into making this thing work with you, Daryl, Angel Quinn. So I know we've already done this before, but will you marry me? Cause everyone has an end. Can you know the great hands? Popping every new year. Noticing all the lines grow deeper when I smile. I used to think I still got time to waste. But lately I feel like it's too late Met you when you were 19 I'll stay with you till 90 There's no way to stop now Let's go for another round Made another trip around the sun Got a little close, it almost burned us up Made another trip around the sun Can't stop the time, but time it can't stop us This morning with multiple backaches. Mm -hmm. I did. Still feel like I was just 21 last week. Mm -hmm. 21. I'm sorry, I'm living the future. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Please stay in the moment or else it'll pass away. Damn, bitch. Like you could at least help us. This is your apartment after all. We need your help. After your shits. Right. Uh uh. Go ahead and put that glass down and pick up a box. Cause you got me out here carrying this tree. Like Bitch! I'm just carrying a cross. You better get your friend. This ain't, get look, this ain't two men in the truck. I'm a man and him, but we ain't got no truck. <laughs> Y'all, I'm, I'm tired, okay? You I'm tired. Like it. You do too much all the time. Too much. And I really just wanted to see y'all. So, y'all owe me this anyway, remember? No. I don't remember that. No. Okay, For whatever, what? Ever. I'm gonna pay you yours. You can afford me. Pl bitch, please. I'm salary. Look, I wanted to see y'all. It's been over a fucking month and I have not heard from either one of you bitches. So what's up? Like, what's really good? For real. Ooh, actually, we can talk about me. Um, Daryl and I have been hard at work 
um, on our engagement dinner because um, you know we're engaged. We're going to be married soon. Here you um, go. Congratulations. And, oh, thanks so much. And you know we're working on our wedding next year. Um, other than that, we've just really just been working on learning each other and loving each other. Hate each other. Strong on hate. Do y'all know he snores? Neither here nor there. I just know it's a journey. Um, and honestly, I'm grateful for it. You know, we're just taking it a step at a time and I love my man and he loved me. I am glad that you guys are working it out. But when I tell you like, love is a complicated trip. <laughs> for Baby, <you. laughs> just make sure you take first class, no, all right? No lies told at all. Listen, that's why I decided to completely give up on love. Fuck it. Fuck love. You were dating. Cause you know Corey don't tell us nothing. Especially when it comes to that raggedy love life of his. Yeah, we know that, Nick. Go ahead. He'd be all out in the streets, you know? But I'm sure he out here with his little scut buckets doing whatever he doing. <laughs> First of all, shut up, bitch. Second of all, I was talking to this one little nigga. Mm -hmm. But, of course, that didn't work out. Obviously, because I'm here with you bitches. Hmm. I mean, he's like, it's him and not me. Mm. That's so fucking <clears throat> stupid. Really cliche. You know, and right before that, Rudy ass ghosted me. So, so it probably was you. I, I'm just, I'm done, well, guys, for real. So basically, what I'm hearing is you're about to be a slut again. Oh wait, right? but hey, but hey, a safe slut, you know, because you got, you know, that that yeah, situation. He that, got you it. Know, he got you know. it. Nurse Pam. Yeah, he, Nurse Pam. I love it. He got it, bitch. I just want to make sure. Honestly, contracted HIV <laughs> is truly a blessing in disguise for me. Bitch, what you say? I'm just saying, you know, I'm starting to realize that my life actually means something now. Hmm. You know, it has some weight. It has some meaning to it. And I should start living it like it's my last. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to um, and, and, and you know... I'm gonna stop going to these sex clubs. I'm gonna stop going to these fuck fests. I'm gonna stop going to the den and Ooh. flex. I saw you there, Fred, Sunday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm gonna start living my life for myself. Because I deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. You definitely deserve it. But I do wanna know um, who the hell are you and what have you done with my friend Corey? I'm serious. But I am happy for both of y'all, though. Prince, you and Troy, y'all are so fucking perfect. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and he rich. He, he does a, have a coin. He, a nice he does coin. have a coin. I'll agree with you on that. <laughs> he, he money ring. Nick. Not a lot. Nick. No. I, um, I'm proud of you too. I'm going to say that. Mm. I mean, I haven't, I haven't met Daryl yet, but I'm pretty sure I will like him because he has to deal with your crazy ass. <laughs> and he wants to marry me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Put it on. I'm just saying. But yeah, I am proud of y'all. I just want to let y'all know that. Thank you. Corey, look, I actually forget sometimes that you have a heart. So I appreciate you. Don't tell nobody. Bitch, never. I forget that Tim Man has a heart as well sometimes. But... More importantly, when you come to my engagement party, because you know, I'm about to get fuck? married. <laughs> we know. Because <laughs> I'm getting engaged. Um, there'll definitely be a bunch uh, a bunch of available How many suitors. Times? Nah. So we can keep talking about him. I love my man. That's cute. Yeah. But there's going to be a bunch of available suitors. And I know how you like to be suited. So you should definitely, you know, come and get your life. I let them give you life. I, I, I could have sworn he gave up on dating. He He's just also But. I mean, at least for now. Okay. Damn, yeah. Plus, I won't be in attendance because I'm moving to Texas. <clears throat> to Dallas, Georgia? Uh, what the Dallas, fuck? Georgia. Hold on. You're moving where? To Texas. When? Why? In a few weeks. And because I'm sick of Atlanta. I don't, I've done everything here. There's nothing left for me to do. I've exhausted all my options. Um, Period. You me, ain't shit. your sister, your nephew, me, that, me, bitch. hello. You That's... know what, bitch? Not too much. Sh shut up. Anyhow, Corey. What? You can't go nowhere. There's so many people who care about you. You're forgetting your secret parent's love child, your long lost twin brother, Lorenzo. Bitch, you, 
That's why I don't fuck with him. Because he's messy <laughs> he's as fuck. Very well. messy. You are too messy no, for me. So y'all remember Lorenzo? Yeah, I remember it, him. Nobody knows that. Exactly. And you know what? Lorenzo can take care of Monica. She's a whole grown ass woman. And they can spend all this time binding and all that shit they need to do. Corey, that that I'm doesn't just, make sense. I'm, Listen, my parents left us good. We're good. So they can go do that thing and then we can move on with our lives graciously. Okay? Yeah. yeah. There's no point in you moving to fucking Texas. What can't you do in, in fucking Ooh. Atlanta? Hey y'all, I'm gonna be right back. I can my turn Texas me. blue. You good? Yeah, my man texted me. So you know I'm good. I'm my man I was there. Thank God. God. You know my I'm man so I'm asking these bitches he good. Like he I good. give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. But I you don't. didn't give a fuck. Because you were trying to get him, wasn't you? That's your phone. Yeah, right? it was. Your phone. You were trying to get him. Your, your man's on the phone, right? Oh, not yet. I'm Go get it. Is that an Android? Go get it. Your mama an Android. Child, well, he was talking, talking about your mama. But if you talk I'm about talking about both your mamas, really. Bitch. Come on. This, this all for me. Weak. The, Weak as a motherfucker. I'm telling you now. Snatch that damn do rag off his head. Hey, babe, what's up? Yeah, um, so two things. I know you was at our flex last Sunday. Which, I don't care about that, but what I didn't know, um, Nick, how long you been doing coke? What, 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 what are you saying about? You know, you asked me to come over here and do your laundry. You know, that's what I'm over here doing. And I found it in your work pocket, you know, a bag. <laughs> Fucking work pants at that. Okay, um, well, A, I hope that she was doing my laundry, you finished my whites. Um, B, you know, it's it's really not that serious. Not, not, not that serious? Since when doing drugs is not that serious, Nick. This ain't fucking weed, this is, this is crack. Okay, so someone's being a little extra today. <laughs> it's not crack. Um, and again, it's not that serious. I literally just use it to help me. <laughs> to, to help? Come on. Nick, what kind of fucking crack verbalization is you talking right now? What are you saying? You know, Daryl, um, right now I'm with Corey and Prince, but I'm actually about to leave. Um, I'm on my way home so we can really talk. You know what? No, we don't even have nothing to talk about. You can say about that. Um, you know, I can forget the flex thing because you know I was kind of talking to somebody while we were on our you break. Was... You know how you made us go on a break? Ooh. But this whole cocaine shit, I can't deal with. I mean, it'd be different if you told me, but why else are you, is you hiding it? Okay, hang on. This is way too much. Um, Daryl, what are you trying to say? What I'm saying is, um... I can't do this right now. As of right now, we're over. Excuse me? Yeah, you have been there. No, no, no. You don't fuck with my truth. I know I can be unkind, but you're not always understanding. I like to take my time, but time is what you're always chasing. They swing it and everything. I don't like it. Well, therefore, you know I don't like it. You a top friend? What the fuck is he sniffling for? Nick. Nick. Huh? What's wrong with you? Nothing, girl. You know, I'm good. Why are you wiping your eyes then? Um. I think Daryl just broke up with me. He did what? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh. Hold on. Hey. Uh -huh. Nick. Corey. What? Give us some, some you know. Some coke at a time like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think that'll help?